and she advised before I declare myself homeless today, killing you guys. Is your age um, 20 or 19? Okay. And are you in any therapy at all? Olivia is a call handler at Shelter, a charity that campaigns for tenants' rights. Recently, there's been a rise in young callers to the helpline. Most will call at a time of crisis, with many experiencing troubles Tell with me their a mental bit more health. Detail, um, what, what mental health conditions you have? This type of call is not unusual for Olivia. Almost half of adult renters say the worry about being able to make rental payments is making them feel anxious and depressed. What would be your ultimate outcome here? The 20 year old caller says she's clinically depressed, suffers with anxiety and panic attacks due to her current living situation. Recently, she lost her job and she's called the helpline as a last resort. As she told me, she's on about £250 a month. And so she, would that be her sole income? That's all she's getting throughout that month? That's all she'll get wow. for the whole month. What would you say is her options? I know that you mentioned um, maybe homelessness. It's a bit of a tough one in this situation. Um, a homelessness application may be something that's suitable for her. Private rent's going to be the best bet because social, as she was saying, getting a social home may take years on the register. This caller is not alone, from bidding wars to renters living in squalor and to being made homeless. This is a story of young renters all across the country. The problem is exacerbated in big cities like London and Manchester, where they've seen the biggest hike in rents and even less demand. And down south, Izzy is just one of many that say her mental health has been impacted due to London's crazy rental market. My whole house are actors. Um, and because we can't afford somewhere that's slightly bigger, um, we've had severe yeah. mold. It's affected our physical health a lot. Um, mental health, definitely. I had a basically a respiratory problem for a couple of months. Mm. Um, and, you know, again, luckily my landlord has eventually come and deal, dealt with it. There's so many people that are living with black mold in their houses right now. And of course that has an effect on your mental health. It's your home and you're living in filth because your, you know, the people that are meant to be looking after you refuse to. And have you found yourself having to step back on acting? It's just getting ridiculous now that I'm having to work five different jobs for different people and having to ask for more money and yet still I'm not making enough. That is just preposterous. It's insane. And I don't use that word lightly.